Hey, I'm Sid. Uh, you guys probably haven't seen me for a little bit. Our marketing director likes to write me out of the webisodes. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm typically working behind the scenes and one of the things that I do is work on new business development and find people to partner with. One of the people that we're partnering with is a uh, builder called Flagship and they were doing a master plan community uh, down by uh, Orem, Utah and they came to us with an opportunity to uh, do a parade home with them as well as provide a Studio McGee uh, finished selections package for um, these homes so that there's some really cool options for, for people to uh, come to the neighborhood, get our look and feel without having to work directly with us and have a completely custom home. So every time Sid walks over to the designer area we always hold our breath because he's like always like making promises and making deals and we're so busy so of course he says oh this is really great opportunity there's like a client that wants to do this parade at home he's like and it has to be it's in framing it has to be designed and furnished the parade starts in 10 weeks so um, of course we said yes and uh, got right to it uh, the, the house was framed they were like ready to put in windows the next day so we ran down and to the model home so we could walk walk it and make any changes they handed us a piece of paper that had the plans on it then we did some sketches to show the changes that we wanted made and then those got implemented and we just really hit the ground running to get this home designed and take it from a typical tracked home to something that felt more special When we were selecting wood floor options for the parade home, we were also selecting options for the entire neighborhood. We wanted to make sure that they felt custom and higher end than your average tract home and we wanted to make sure that we were providing options that felt like the designs that you see from us all the time. We love Hallmark flooring. Uh, you've seen us use them in our studio. We have the Alta Vista Laguna and their floors just have this nice wide plank and just the perfect amount of distressing and they just have really good tones which we were trying to select something that wasn't too dark or too light for the parade home. I just had a vision of something that was the perfect um, kind of in-between color that still felt warm. One thing I love about this line um, by Hallmark is that it's a really cost-effective option for how high end of a flooring it looks. Um, you, it's an engineered floor, so you get a nice top layer of wood, um, but it's better price point than a true hardwood, and it's a lot higher end than going with um, a faux wood flooring. So we narrowed it down to several options. Uh, you can see here, this one was feeling a little golden next to the green cabinetry, and then this was feeling a little too light. Um, and we settled on Malibu. It has this just really beautiful tone to it, and you can see the bigger swatch here. It has um, just a little bit of a rustic quality, but not too much, which I love. Today is the last day before the Parade of Home starts and we are rallying. We have been here every single day, including Saturday, um, installing furniture while the crews are here, still tiling and painting, and it's been totally nuts. And um, I think that we are finally almost there. One of my favorite selections in this home are the floors. Uh, it just They have this natural matte finish and I just love the tone is, is warm but it still has a light and airy feel and I am so happy with how they turned out. The home is coming together bit by bit, room by room. The room that I'm standing in right now is the office and it's right off of the entry. So you walk into the home, it's got this light and airy feel and then bam, you see this 
dark and dramatic color on the walls and I am obsessed with doing just like one really dramatic room in the house and this was the perfect fit. And you can see we painted the shiplap um, a color called soot. The entire goal for the project was to take this tract home from cookie cutter to something really special. We've done that by paying attention to the details. You can see we created this awesome fireplace mantle. We did paneling like the shiplap in the office, this grid detail in the stairwell, and then chose really cool light fixtures. And all of those will be options that come when um, clients come to build these homes with the builder. I am so excited about this tiny powder room I'm standing in because it was the perfect place to show off one of our new McGee & Co. wallpapers that will be in the shop. In this living room, we had the fireplace as the focal point, but we ended up with um, two big blank walls on either side, and so we decided to put furniture that balanced each other out, but that was not matchy matchy. So when you're doing this like in a bedroom with nightstands or in a living room like this where you want to do two different pieces that work together, it's really important that they're the same height. We kept the color palette neutral and fresh and just a little bit of color like in the blush pink. This artwork is really cool. It's a framed mud cloth textile. We sell them in the shop and you can see that they're mounted on linen and then framed in this really cool acrylic box. I am standing in this really dramatic kitchen and I am so excited with how it turned out. Uh, we chose a dark, deep green for the cabinetry and this is a parade home so we decided that we weren't going to do something predictable we were going to do something bold and balanced it out with all of the other light and airy rooms throughout the house. One of the telltale signs of a tracked kitchen is when the cabinets don't go all the way to the ceiling. We always make sure that they go to the ceiling in the custom homes that we design. So when we were working with Flagship um, to design these tracked homes, we said this has to be standard and I'm so glad that they did it. Now you can see what a different it, difference it makes to bring the cabinets all the way to the ceiling. Choosing a dark color on your cabinetry doesn't necessarily take away from the light and bright feel. If you do a couple of things, uh, keep the countertops really light, go light on the backsplash, and then you can see even here, the lights that we use have a white shade. I am so happy with how this project came together. A big thank you to Hallmark Floors for sponsoring this webisode and don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for part two of our parade tour.